Chrissy Teigen has jumped on the latest game doing the Twitter round, so of course we are too. Recently, Twitter user Jin, aka at show up for this, asked the pertinent question. Okay, so you're in a horror movie and your partner in fear is the most famous person with whom you share a birthday. Who is it and are you going to survive? Something I've pondered myself on a daily basis since forever. Chrissy Teigen, for the record, retweeted the challenge and added, let's do this, Clay Aiken. Would Chrissy and Clay survive a horror movie? Yes. Chrissy would scavenge a seemingly delectable three-course meal from the body parts the villain keeps in the attic, while Clay Aiken hums a gentle cover of Lady Gaga's teeth to distract them from the mild cyanide aftertaste. Well played. My most famous birthday partner is footballer Pele, so obviously we would survive because Pele would outrun the zombie apocalypse even with me on his back. Which is good because my second most famous birthday partner is Weird Al Yankovic of white and nerdy fame. You know, the guy who made the really bad white version of Chameleon Airs Riding Dirty? We would be killed immediately. The audience would cheer. So, over to you. Who's your famous birthday partner and would you survive the 76th offspin of Final Destination? Let us know. Glastonbury will no longer sell plastic bottles in a bid to help stem the plastic crisis choking the world. Which is great news given that at the 2017 festival, people left approximately 1.3 million bottles flailing in the mud next to giant bags of rogue, stale buns. It's the latest big music industry move towards sustainability. Just last week, the 1975's manager Jamie O'Bourne announced that their record label, Dirty Hit, who look after the likes of Pale Waves, Will Fallis, and obviously the 1975, will stop using plastics. He tweeted, If need be, we won't stock in shops that insist on plastic wrappings. Then last year, 61 independent music festivals, including Field Day, End of the Road and Snow Bombing, signed up to a campaign called Drastic on Plastic, which involved a pledge to get rid of on-site single-use plastic by 2021. And this past November, industry leaders met up at the Billboard Live Music Summit to discuss how to make concerts more sustainable, sparked by Katy Perry asking venues to use plant-based straws instead of plastic. There's obviously still a long way to go. Last year I went to a massive concert where they handed out plastic bracelets with little lights inside so that every Everyone can hold up their arm and the arena would glow. Perfect synchronization. Which was pretty, but also, we have phone lights. It's important we all do our bit as individuals. Like, please don't leave your sweaty tent at a festival just because someone puked in the corner. But it's cool to see industry leaders spearheading change, because to save our dying planet, we need everyone on board. I love Wales so much that I actually decided to become an ambassador of the Whale and Dolphin Conservation Charity. The 3rd of March is International Wildlife Day, started by the UN in 2013 to celebrate and raise awareness of the world's wild animals and plants, which is important because a lot of them are dying due to the increasingly urgent threat of climate change. This year there's a focus on marine life with the theme Life Below Water for People and Planet. Some not so fun facts for you. The UN report that 8 million tons of plastic leaks into the ocean each year. UNESCO report that plastic is responsible for the death of over a million seabirds per year and more than 100,000 marine mammals. And the and write that only 13% of oceans remain undamaged by human impact. Which is where Charlotte comes in. As an ambassador for whale and dolphin conservation, she's campaigning to stop commercial whaling still in practice in Japan, Iceland and Norway, responsible for the death of over 1,500 whales a year. They also advocate for safer fishing practices so less marine life gets caught in nets. So if the imminent death of the planet doesn't scare you into stopping buying plastic, reducing seafood intake and recycling properly, maybe you'll be galvanised into action with a clip of Charlotte talking about how great whales are. I just love the fact that they are so beautiful, so fascinating, like so magical. There's something mysterious about them, there's something mysterious about the whole ocean and the fact that they live in it and they're so huge, even bigger than some dinosaurs that lived on Earth. Like they are just fascinating, I love whales so much.